Hello everybody, welcome to My Creative Time with Emma. Today I am coming on to show you how we just came out with our newest release, the 136th edition release, our Halloween release, which if, if for those of you who have been following me, you know how much I absolutely love Halloween. So I'm gonna show you our brand new small and medium ginger faces, pretty much similar to the bigger ones that we released last month. And there's also some little Halloween add-ons, which I'll show you in a moment. And then I have this other one called I Love Fall. This is a stamp and die set. These, all of these sentiments here will coordinate with our, let's see. I don't have, uh, this one is, this die, the little spatula and the little frosting, this goes with my set called Jingle All The Way. And I have a, a coordinating stamp set that goes with this but unfortunately it's misplaced at the moment because I have such a mess on my desk so all of these sentiments here will stamp perfectly on the little spatula and the baking up love it'll stamp perfectly on the little wooden spoon and the actual little um, rolling pin and here goes some sentiments for the rolling pin there's four of them there and then all of these other ones the images will also fit beautifully in here and on our little spatula okay so let me go ahead i'm going to show you our brand new paper pad first this is called ginger halloween and i am super excited about this i think it came out perfect my son was so proud of it <laughs> he loved the way it came out and so did i so i'm so happy um this is called ginger halloween and this is a six by eight and a half paper pad there are 24 sheets total with four each of six designs. So I'm just gonna do a quick little go, little going through here. So this first page, there's like a little set of these adorable little gingerbread, uh, little gingerbreads in their Halloween costumes. There's a little pirate, a little skeleton boy, and a little mummy, super adorable. Behind that is our black page with some white webs on it. And then this one here, these are images of all of the little different little trick-or-treaters we have here with all of the different costumes so it has the little boy costumes and now obviously you can make the little like pirate or the mummy into a little girl as well but um or even the skeleton but then we also have the little witch and this cutie patootie little little kitty cat okay and they all have props like he has he's holding his little sword she's holding a balloon she's holding her little um broom and then this one here is holding this cute little um, trick-or-treat little uh, pumpkin container okay and then behind that we have this pretty um, white wood uh, web background and then we have I love this I love this one so much this is considered the little girl page okay we have the little kitty cat and the witches all over it um, and then behind that we have this purple with some light color stars in the background and then this one here is just like a little script page here script and i i love love the way this came out um and then we have behind there we have a little orange with some spiders in the background spider webs i should say and then we have this adorable super adorable little turkey page here i love the way this came out adorable and then behind there we have this it's same stitching that's on the front but i added it to the back in the orange color and then we have this cute little party theme of little balloons here. Super cute with little jack-o'-lantern faces on them. Behind that is a pink with some uh, stars. And then it repeats itself all over, okay? So I am going to first show, let's see. Let's go ahead and put this together. Oh, I didn't even turn this around. Okay, so this comes with stamps and dies. So these are the stamps called I Love Fall, and these are the coordinating dies now this will turn your gingers into adorable adorable little turkeys okay so there are a smaller set and a bigger set in here and this will coordinate with all of the gingers okay this is the sweet ginger it'll coordinate with the sweet ginger person the sweet gingerbread companion dies along with as well as the ginger boy and girl dies so keep in mind these turkey pieces will coordinate with all of them because a lot of you have all of them so that's perfect okay so I'm not going to show you how to put the smaller one together because that's 
I figure it'll be easier just to go ahead and put the bigger one together for you. So, what we're gonna start off by stamping the little face on here first. Let me grab that. Have a, let me see if I have a smaller block somewhere. Okay, I do. Okie dokie. So we're just gonna go ahead and just put that like so. Okay, and then I'm going to use my, here we go, my archival ink here. Okay, before I do this, okay, now, since it's gonna have like a little mouth and that little thingy going down on the side of his nose, I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape here to mask off the mouth, okay? So I have the tape right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of use this piece of tape to cover up the mouth because we don't want to stamp the mouth portion, okay? And these, I'm gonna go ahead and add a video to this. Now this video is gonna be in my store, so this way when you get all of your goodies, you'll be able to see it. But I'm gonna add a separate video to my store on how to put the gingers together without the cutout face so you can use these, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just ink this up here. So there'll be two separate videos for this product here, especially for the little faces, just so you can see how easy it is to make these gingers without that other face on them. Okie dokie, so we're gonna, whatever you do, remove the tape, okay? Last time I forgot to remove the tape and I ruined my project. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just stamp it like so. Okay, so it could just be the little eyes. And then we're gonna go ahead and just add this. So now, I wanted to show you something. There are two pieces. Now we have this right here. This has both, where you, if you want to go ahead and just layer everything on top of here, you know what I'm saying, just like so, and then add this. That's if you want the placement to be perfect, you know what I'm saying? But you don't necessarily have to, to be honest with you. So you could just completely omit this if you want. And then um, and then just go ahead and just use it just like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this down really fast here. And that's gonna go like here. And then if you're not sure, you could just go ahead and use this as your guide. I mean, but like I said, you could just go ahead and layer it all on top of there. And it, I thought I took that piece off, but I guess I didn't. But that's okay. For those of you who, who are not sure, you can use that as your little guide. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that down like so. And that's super cute. And then we have our adorable little hat here. And I cut it out in some gl black glitter cardstock. And then we're gonna go ahead and just add the little band. I guess that's what you call it. We're gonna go ahead and put that right here. Okay, and then I cut out the little buckle in gold, okay? Put, I'm putting everything on here with some glossy accents. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just hold that down just for a quick minute here. All right, that'll work. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we are going to go ahead and just add this right here. I kinda wanna, Still show, I mean, you could go ahead and go as far down as you want, but the way I does, if you go further down, you'll like see the white sides. Does that make sense? So you go up or down, however you want, you know? So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put the glue here. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and just put this on here like so. Well, there you go. And then from that set here, let me kind of just give you another visual here. You're gonna go ahead and grab the two biggest ones, which will be this one and that one, to go ahead and make the feathers behind this bigger ginger, okay? So these will be considered the two biggest ones. If you want, you could go ahead and just adhere, just glue everything down just like so, which we'll do. Or if not, you could pop it up, okay? But for today, we're just gonna go ahead and just glue everything directly on here. And I'm just gonna kind of raise that up just a hint to put it like so, okay? And then this is gonna go on here. Now, you see this 
this part here, you could go ahead and put it either like almost like right below the little arms, or you could go a little bit higher like that. You know what I'm saying? However you want. The other ones I put below the arms. I think this one I'll go ahead and just try putting it just like so. I think that's super cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and just go a little different. And like I said, you could do it any way you want, you know? Let's put that like that. So I just want to make sure this part uh, lines up with that, like this part here. You could line it up with this part if you're going to go further down. If not, you could line that brown part underneath the little arms. Okay. All right, and then you could go ahead and finish off the face by coloring that, the little parts that did it that aren't black, color that in white, and add some glossy accents to the little eyeballs if you want. And these come with some adorable glasses. Now you could either do them without the glasses. I think these are so stinking cute. Or you could do it with. How cute is that? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you my cards I made the card and the little treat box I made. So I'll show you, where's it at? Um, wow, okay. Let me show you the card first. I don't know where I put that treat box. It's probably here in my face. Um, okay, so this is the card I made. I made like a little five by five card and I used the paper, that paper, the one that has the little turkeys. Isn't that so stinking adorable? I used the turkeys here. And then I use this the orange paper that's behind it. And I just had some trim. I had this in my stash and I, I had it for who knows how long. And I was kind of picking, looking up for some, looking for something and I found it. So I was so happy. So I used that little, I think it's called like Rick Rack or something like that. Um, I use that for the little background of the card. And then I use our new jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. So you don't always have to use it for a jack-o'-lantern. You could just use it for like a white pumpkin. I love the white pumpkins. I always get white pumpkins too at fall time. Um, and then this is the smaller version of the turkey without the glasses, okay? Um, oh, you know what I forgot to put on him? I forgot to add his little buttons. Now, the little buttons you're gonna get from the actual die set itself, okay? So, which are in like the Sweet Gingerbread Companion. These are the little buttons that go with it. Now you could obviously make your own, like put some little Nouveau drops on there, whatever you want. But anyways, so that's the little, so this is, you can have a little side by side visual of the, um, of the size of both of them. That's the bigger guy and that's the baby. Isn't that super adorable? Okay, so let me find my little treat box that I created with this real quick. Okay, sorry, it was like right in my face, okay. <laughs> okay, so here goes the little treat box I created using that jack-o'-lantern and using our brand new Create a Treat bag. Okay, so what you wanna do, this is our jack-o'-lantern um, tag die. Let me just kind of show you really quick here, which is this right here. Let me take it out so you don't get that glare. This is our jack-o'-lantern tag die. So what you wanna do is just cut this out twice and then use the little create a, a treat bag use the bigger one here to go ahead and create this little treat isn't that super cute i absolutely love the way it came out and then i used some more of that trim i used the one that was at the bottom this time for this one and this would look so cute on your little thanksgiving tables isn't that adorable and then what i did for this one to close it together, I just kind of squeezed it because you can see how the lures little cut lines here where it could close nicely. And I, I punched a hole between both of the little layers and I went ahead and I just tied that through. And then I added the little handle that goes with the jack-o'-lantern because I think it came out really cute. You can't really tell so much that it's a pumpkin unless you turn it around. You could put him on the back too, but I figured this will be perfect the way it is just like so. So that is it, everyone. That is how you put together our brand new I Love Fall. And then also that Thankful For You. I didn't even tell you about that. That is from the I Love Fall stamp set as well. The one that comes with that.
So I stamp thankful for you for uh, it's right here from that I Love Fall stamp set that comes with your little turkey add-ons here. Um, and then I use, this, of course, a smaller pieces for that little turkey. And then for these cute little branches, I actually used the set that we came out with last month called Christmas Greens Dies. And I went ahead and I used that and I cut it out four times. Um, and I kind of just layered two on each side and I think it came out super cute. I love, love, love the set. So anyways, everybody, that is it. I hope this helps some of you out. Have a fabulous day and I will see you all back here soon. Bye-bye.